What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Today, we're going to see a news crew question a man by the name of Curtis Brazier. Turns out this guy's girlfriend went missing, and they later found her dead in the woods from asphyxiation. Now, Mr. Brazier here had a little altercation with his girlfriend early in the year. They say that they stopped talking around December, and then January 1st, he ended up getting a robbery charge on his girlfriend for stealing a laptop, $5, and a birth certificate. It sounds like a messy breakup to me, and he went back to try to get some stuff that he thought belonged to him. The woman didn't agree and ended up pressing charges on this guy, so... A lot of people think that this man actually murdered his girlfriend so that he wouldn't have to go to court for robbery. Now, this rabbit hole gets deep, man. I had no closure until I seen one thing. <laughs> I don't know how much we can depend on it, but we'll get there at the end of the clip and hopefully it gives y'all a little closure as well. But if you enjoy this type of content, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave and check out my playlist with many more videos for you to start watching today. Now, during this interview, he hasn't been charged for the murder of his girlfriend, so uh, keep that in mind when he's answering these questions. Let me know if you feel like he's telling the truth or pulling the wool over our eyes. Now, the audio is a bit off, I do apologize, but I tried to fix it the best that I could. Hopefully, it's better on y'all's end than it is on mine. Left, left, left. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so, my name's Anita Blanton, and I'm with Wavy. Um, Wavy tell TV me, 10 on um, your side. Tell me who Candace Banks is to you. My girlfriend. She was your girlfriend for how long? For going on uh, a year and like two months now. Okay. How was the relationship? How would you describe it? Uh, it was decent. It's just we had our little fusses and argues, but other than that, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I met the family and everything. She met mine. Okay. Um... When was the last time you saw her? Um, may I ask what's like what's going on? Like, right? well, um, can you can you tell me why why are you in here right now? I'm in here uh, because of uh, two KPSs and a, um, a a robbery. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, a, a robbery accusing accusing of a robbery. Okay. Do you know who that accusation came from? Uh, it came from the um, the officers that came to the hotel that night. What hotel? Super 8. Okay, what was happening at Super 8? Um, uh, just, uh, like I said, like I said, me and, me and Candace, we had a decent relationship, but it's like, we always argue, but basically what happened that day is, is like, our argument that usually always happened, it happened outside our doors, you know? So, like, we didn't blow it out of proportion, but peep the hotel, the hotel clerk at the time, she had to do what she had to do, which called the police. So other than that, um, like I said, we just got in an argument over material things, items, stuff like that, and I made a dumb decision for real, for real. I should have just, I should have just, for real, for real, do what you usually do, let her cool off and just get, let her cool off and just talk to her later on and stuff. But, I decided to take matters into my own hands and stuff like that, and just make make just make a situation that really wasn't what it was, but seemed real crazy and bad at the time. So what what is the bad decision? Oh. What did you do? So the first thing that caught my ear is when she asked, do you know why you're in here? Do you know who pressed charges? He says, I'm in here for some kind of robbery and the officers pressed charges on me. Not the girlfriend, you know, in Virginia, you know, the, the person could tell the story to the officers and it's up to the officers to determine what charges they press. But he's in jail for the robbery of his girlfriend. So I'm not sure. I think the interview's about to tell him that she's dead. And I think that's going to be the most important part for us to focus on. So what what is the bad decision? What oh, did you do? Uh, I, uh, I had she had asked because she used my laptop. I said, sure, why not? Whatever matter. And come to find out, she just wanted to use it so she can take it with her. It basically take it with her. I said, no, that's not cool. That's why I was wondering that the hotel videos had audio, but it, I guess it's not because she put it in her purse and I took her purse and I took her purse and with my laptop in it. And it made it seem like I was robbing her in whatever case because this the big scene that was happening in the hallway. But when I got out the when I got out the hotel door, I called her phone and told her, Look, come outside the hotel building and get your purse. Cause I don't want I just want the laptop. 
And by then she said, just never mind because the police is coming up here. I get it from some other time. Cool. But me and her wind up linking up, what, I think like four, I think like four days later. What, what day was that? Oh, that was on the 1st of January. Me and her wind up linking up, I, I think a couple of days later, I, um, I came to Newport News to meet up with her and stuff. We did our little thing, whatever the case may be, and I wind up giving her back the uh, laptop and her purse. Now, for him to be in there for robbery, he's really opening up about the situation, right? Anyone in their right mind, just like in the beginning, he was a little off. What are you here for? He's already standoffish a bit, so why are you going to open up all the way with the robbery? Almost like he knows that uh, it doesn't really matter because there's no witness. I don't know. That's just the kind of vibe I'm getting. And I wind up giving her back the uh, laptop and her purse. I say, you know what? With the all boys on two, I'm probably gonna have to go to jail, so I don't need me have this. You can you can have it all. She said, you know what? When you go to jail, baby, she said, I'm sorry things had to end up like this. I'm like, me too. But she said, when you go to jail, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look out for you, hold you down. I said, cool, you know. I don't mind sitting down for a little minute, whatever case may be, because all I gotta do is prove that it, it wasn't a robbery. It was just an argument. Because as as like, if the um, if if the judges can see from last year in December, man, her was back and forth for. Uh, breach of the pieces, basically just couples things. And so it was, not, like I say, it was something that usually happened, but it just happened at, and outside of her doors and stuff like that. Man, look, there ain't no way that dude said, oh, it's okay, baby. I, I can sit it down for, for about 20 years. It's all right. Robbery ain't that big of a deal. Man, that fool probably snapped after she said that. Like, are you serious? You're supposed to be telling me not that you're going to be holding me down, that you're not even going to be showing up to court. That's what I want to hear. Well, I don't want to hear this hold me down shit. I'm not going. That's going to be the more natural reply for someone who, who's facing a lot of time for something like this with a girlfriend at that. But like I said, it was a situation that was just mis misunderstood, for real. Okay. Um, and when was the last time you saw her? Uh, the last time I saw her was when she, was, um, when she had came to my um, mom house and she was like, she about to get a room at the hotel and stuff. What day was that? Uh, that was what, I think the 11th? And she was like, I'm gonna go get a hotel room up there because I don't want to put her business out there, but she do a little things, whatever the case may be. And basically, the life, basically, the, the things she do for her little money is not safe. So that's, that should be enough said. But So he's saying pretty much she's a prostitute. That's in other words, she's getting a hotel and that's where she does her things. That's his, that's his way of saying sex, doing her thing. We did our thing. So, you know, you got to keep in mind, this girl ain't here to fight for herself. This guy could paint any picture he possibly wants. But I do have something that is going to co-sign to a lot of stuff at the end of this video. And she's not about to go get a hotel room up here, try to give me some, make me some of the money and stuff. I said, cool, whatever, be safe. And after that, after that, um, that was the last time I seen her. But after that, she sent me a, um, I texted her a couple times. Oh, I love her. She said, text me back, I love you, whatever the case may be. Then I ain't heard from her then. I ain't heard from her because I got, I got incarcerated on the um, 14th. So that was the last time I seen her when she came to visit me at my mom's house. Okay. Um, on the 25th, her dad um, reported her missing. Missing? Like, missing like, can't nobody find her missing? Look how quick his facial expressions change when she says he's missing. It's almost like he's been waiting for this question. Um, on the 25th, her dad um, reported her missing. Missing? Like, missing like, can't nobody find her missing? Anybody heard from her? Um... Yesterday, her body was found. Wow. Wow. Mm. What else? Her body was found on dogwood. Uh, in the first block of Dogwood. Are you familiar with that area? Yeah, we, we, all, we always chill around that area. Okay, what, what brings you all to that area? Like, you have friends there? Yeah, it was like, that's like a place like we all come to. Oh. Is that an authentic reaction to finding out your girlfriend's dead? 
I ain't gonna lie, it kinda has an authentic feel to it, but at the same time, uh, I don't know, I think I would be asking different questions, not just sitting there with a uh, dazed look. Wow. That's like a place like we all come to, like, chill sometimes, you know? All the old heads basically sink darn there, everybody over around there grew up and everything. Yeah, but we got, basically we got a lot of mutual friends and everybody wind up either link up on that area or the case may be, but wow, man. That's why I shouldn't even answer my call, man. Um, he's been trying to call her from jail. I'm sure they probably checked the call logs. Maybe he's been calling her back to back to back to back. That could co-sign to what he's saying and help with his story, you know. Uh, but at the same time, someone who's smart would call back to back to back to back, even knowing that she's dead, to make it look like he don't know. So anything's possible. I mean, it's so tricky that in the comment section of this video, a lot of people are saying that he deserves an Oscar. Do you understand why some people would point the finger at you? Yeah, I would understand that, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have nothing to do with it. But oh my gosh, so she's dead. Mm -hmm. He still ain't asked where, where at exactly. Her Any details? Her father believes that you had something to do with it. I, re I respect, I respect why he would think that because our little arguments. That's why I said. That's why I said I'm mad that, that that at the hotel incident happened like that, you know, because like everybody can tell, everybody can tell you, her, her family and my family would tell you, me and her didn't argue back and forth. It's like she was staying with me at the hotel for months, although she didn't have to. She had, she can go home to her parents, but she stayed with me at the hotel. And we, she, we, we had an argument. She'd take all that stuff out the hotel. A couple of days later, everything moved back in. Then. Where was the Super 8? Um, right off of uh, Thomas Street. Tomlin? Thomas. Street. Thomas Street? Off Armstead. Oh my God. My baby. Do mm -hmm. you, you mentioned that she kind of had a dangerous lifestyle. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Like, why would it be someone else? No, I don't, I don't, personally, I'm just saying the lifestyle she, like, it's like, She's just like prostitution, you know. And oh, I was right. I ain't, I ain't want to say that because everybody didn't know that about her. But and cause like the last, like the last day she told me, like I'm about to go get this little room up here at the hotel. Damn, babe. So you're telling me that. The last time you talked to her, which was like the 11th. Last, last time I talked to her, like, last time I talked to her was on the phone. But last time I seen her was around 11 when she came to my mama house to see me and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she told you she was getting ready to go get a hotel. Yeah, at the, at the same hotel that I, I used to be at. Cause, but I got kicked out the hotel because of that incident. Mm -hmm. And I was on the, um, I was on the run anyway. And so I've been staying at my mama house trying to not be seen for real, for real. Be staying indoors. And... When I went to the store on the on, when I went to the store on the fourteenth, that's when they got me on the fourteenth. Um. So you're saying you had nothing to do with her disappearance? No, ma'am. That was I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Although we fussed, that was my heart. I loved that woman to death, and like anybody could tell you that. All my family members kept saying, "Leave her alone because of what she's doing." I'm looking like that ain't nothing. Everybody, everybody, everybody do something. You feel me? And that was that was my baby, man. So you were okay with her being a prostitute? No, because yeah, I actually when I first met her, that's how I met her. But we met her, me and her first we was friends. Then we then we wound up started dating and she actually stopped all that. That's why that's why I grew to respect her and love her so much because she stopped she put all that on hold for me. You feel me? And that was wonderful. And I guess I guess when me and her broke up, she felt like she had to go. Oh. When did you all break up? We broke up like I can't even say broke up. It would be had when I when I had moments. I say probably that day. But like I said, but I returned her because I remember her telling me when I returned her um purse and her a laptop to her, and I, I actually came to her mom. I actually came to her grandma's house. But me and her went elsewhere. We chilled a little bit, you know, got intimate. Whatever case may be, made up. But that damn. 
Yeah, it's, it's like we we basically went our own separate ways that day. But that won't I ain't see it as, like we we didn't even see it as breaking up because like I said, we always do that. We, she go her little way for a little, I go my little way. We wind up linking back up. Now we're gonna do a little side quest here and jump into Candace's Facebook page. This is some of her last post right before uh she went missing. Keep in mind, he said that he stole her laptop, what, January 1st, and immediately, uh, these were the posts after. First, it says, woke up this morning, Merry Christmas, y'all. I'm guessing this is probably the laptop. Maybe a Christmas gift and shit hit the fan and, uh, he wanted it back. I don't know, but. And then look, shortly after, on January 2nd, it says, is single. Good morning, Facebook. And this is the day after the robbery took place. The next post says... Okay, like starting a new page. So if you still want to be my friend, please send a request to Candace Banks. Same pro pick. Why would she need to start a new page? Maybe he got a hold of it. Maybe the Facebook was unlocked in the laptop and she didn't have time to close it out. I don't know. I'm sure they checked all the like uh, IP addresses and stuff during the investigation or whatever they do to see where the person was when they posted it. Anyways, the next one says, don't with i will ruin you i am queen bitch of bad news feel my wrath hashtag evil bitch laugh and then the last one she made says well because whelp is not a word i guess it's time to grind if she did post these then it's co-signing to what he's saying about her getting back into the mix of things now let's jump back into the interview and keep in mind i got a little sidewinder at the end to give us a little bit of closure on this case why would, um, you said you all hung out on Dogwood in that area. Yeah, like, occasions and stuff like that. But that's not nowhere that we'll go every day type stuff, mm -hmm. you know? But the Super 8 is on, like, Armistead on Thomas. Yeah. Um, so if she was getting a hotel room over there, I'm just saying in the in a chronological yeah. order of things, like, okay, if I'm over here and I rent this hotel, how does my body end up? At Dogwood. That's the whole thing. I don't know. Me first, I'm trying to stay low key myself at my mom's house. It's, it's bad enough that when my mom stays, I'm on a trespassing list, so I can't keep coming back and forth. Once I'm in, I'm in, you know? And I honestly, if I, if I was on the streets and doing when everything happened, I probably have more of a view of what's going on. I could tell you this, the ins and outs, but I'm in here. I don't know what's going on. It's like, it's like when, I first, like, like when I first got locked up on the 14th, I was in population, but you know, I'm calling her and stuff. Cause like when I, when I got locked up, she was one of the first persons I called. And she didn't answer, I'm thinking like, okay, she's probably busy, obviously. But then I said like, I was in population for like probably four to five days. And then, and then I had root myself to isolation because medical issues. And so I've been in isolation since since then, all the way to until I got shipped here in isolation, you don't get to watch TV, you don't get to do none of that. So I'm pretty much secluded from the world, not knowing what's going on. So like, it's like when I heard that y'all was coming and y'all was like missing, I'm gonna be like, hold on now, why would she? Why would she be missing? I'm thinking, okay, maybe she went out of town to make some little money or something. But she she would let her family know if anything where she's at. Who was she close to? Out of her family. Mm -hmm. Um. Personally, what I've what, I have, what I, I've seen, I say she was close to like. I say, I say her sister. Okay, what's her sister's name? I really don't know her sister's real name personally. So, um, in hearing that she that she is dead, um, who would you think would do something like this to her? Honestly, ma'am. Like I said. Feuds and anger and things can build up overnight, you know, and like I said, I've been incarcerated. I don't know who to say had a grudge against my girl or whatever the case may be. It's like, it's shit, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know what to say on that one. That just, that just, that just messed me up for us being in here to hear some stuff like that. I'm thinking, man, that got me thinking I was calling the dead person the whole time. They, do they know how long she's been like? No, they don't know how long she's been there. Or at least they haven't told us how long she was there. That's messed up, man. 
I don't know, y'all. This is a tough one for me because I, I keep getting hints that he's lying and then I keep getting hints that he he could be telling the truth because a lot of it's really co-signed to everything that he's saying. And then he's starting to realize and think kind of like an inmate would, you know, calling someone didn't realize, oh my God, I mean, I've been calling someone dead the whole time. You know, shit start sitting in. But like I said in the beginning, he could be extremely smart and be calling over and over again to make it look like he doesn't know. Tough one here, y'all. Wow. I don't, I don't know. I did. My man is gone right now, man. I don't. Did she have children? Yeah, she How had many three. Children? Three children? Any with you? No, no. Okay. She had two boys and a daughter. Is there anything else that you would want to say to her family or to her friends um, and to people who are watching this? Do what you can to help this help the situation out, you know? Yeah, this is crazy right here, man. It's like, because if I was on the streets, I would get to the bottom of it personally. And I, I don't, don't want to say what I would do because of what happened, but I get to the bottom of it. So anything you know, like, of this lifestyle, like, Put it out there. Let them let them know for they can help. You know this this is this is crazy, man. That girl ain't do nothing to nobody. Do some stuff like that, man. All she did was get make that money for her kids, man, and to support her family. She ain't do nothing wrong, man. What would you say to her family? Give y'all my condolences, man. I'm, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I did bring. Far as my little knickknack, pedaback arguing and stuff, I I wish I would never done all that stuff, man. I don't know, y'all. This is. Uh, uh, a mind boggler to me i'm i'm looking forward to hearing what y'all got to say in the comment section now after watching that i did a little research trying to figure out this guy was ever convicted there was absolutely nothing on this except for one article i mean any which way that i typed this to get some intel on it one article came up so i went to the second best thing maybe even the first best the comment section man y'all know just about everything there is first comment says crazy how when she tells him her body was found he never asks what happened to her you clearly don't need to ask because you already know that's a very valid comment this is the comment here ladies and gentlemen kevin says and what's really really sad is that he is now living in new orleans with my daughter and three grandbabies and she's too blind stupid and very low self-esteem issues to realize who she's laying up with but that's all the closure I have for this case with Mr. Curtis Brazier. Now, I'm not saying this is the case, but what if, you know, he really did do it? He didn't want to go to prison for robbery, said no face, no case, and ended up killing her. All charges dropped. Can you imagine if that was the situation? Sadly, we might not never know. But my condolences go out to this girl's family, and hopefully the children are taken care of. And as always, I salute every last one of you been supporting me since the beginning and everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.